Hey, it's Brian Mudd. This is my cheat sheet for Friday, May 25th. We're wrapping up Small Business Week, and I wanted to issue a challenge, something I do uh, typically about once a year, only I'm doing it for the first time just to you, our local audience, and have worked out the economic impact that you're going to help make this weekend. Uh, first, here's the way this works. Uh, going back to a study uh, that I was involved with with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce years ago, we found out that when you spend money at a local business in your community, Every dollar touches approximately seven hands before it washes its way back out of the local economy. Conversely, when you spend a dollar at a national business, typically it touches just over two hands, about two and a half, before it leaves the community. So spending money in local businesses helps the community in a much bigger way, creates a greater economic impact at the local level. All right, so with that premise in mind, we have approximately 90,000 weekly listeners to our radio show, The Morning Rush. If every one of you will spend $10, $10, just 10 bucks sometime this Memorial Day weekend at a local business you have not patronized, patronize the local businesses you already do patronize, but find a new business, someplace you've been meaning to go, spend at least $10. If every one of us that participate in the Morning Rush Show spend $10 at a local business this weekend, 90,000 listeners, the economic impact we'll create by the time we're done with this weekend will be $6.3 million in our local community. I think that's pretty cool. And the other thing, too, the bonus of choosing that new business, the reason I always say a new business, because I want you to find a great new local business. Ashley and I actually ended up doing this just yesterday. Now, Ashley being Ashley, she spent $55, not 10 but, you know, hey, we'll do what we can to help as well. Um, all right, and by the way, I do have uh, some advice as well on how small businesses, if you have one, can partner up with some big companies. This came from uh, the conference that's been going on this week from the National Federation of Independent Business Owners. Uh, they came out with some new recommendations on how you can maybe even get your stuff into a Walmart, a Target, you know, what have you. So anyway, uh, check out the physical cheat sheet if you have a small business. Hey, this is cool. It's the first time since 2007 we've actually had a year-over-year -year drop and the percentage of us that are uh, underwater under mortgages. Nationally, just over 32% of us are underwater on our mortgage right now. Not a good number. That is still nearly one in three of us. But the, the big news here, it's down 1%. Just one, but it's down 1%. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the number right now is 31% down from 32% the same time last year. So we have a year-over-year -year decline decline in the percent of a percentage of us that are underwater under mortgage. And what's so important about this, as we take a look at other housing numbers that show that we are bottoming, that we are beginning to recover in housing, even nationally, but especially locally, is that we can return to normalcy again. A big part of the problem with housing, with employment in this country, has been that we've been trapped in underwater mortgages. So you can't move if you need a new job. If you lose your job, you know, it just becomes even messier. Once upon a time, if we moved to a new area and we planned on living there for several years, we we're able to buy a home and live our lives. And if we needed to move, we put it for sale and we moved. We're getting back to that reality, back to normal times again. And that's pretty cool. Um, DVR skipping. This is uh, an interesting situation that's going to play out. DISH has had technology in place that will allow you to skip the ads on recorded programming, stuff on the DVR. All of the broadcast networks are suing Dish Network, saying that they should not be allowed to skip rather than fast forward through their, their ads. This court decision obviously will have huge implications for all DVR uh, appliances to see if we will have the ability legally to be able to just skip passive commercials rather than having to fast forward through them. All right, that is the cheat sheet for today. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, but remember the reason that we do get to enjoy our Memorial Day weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday.